My name is Natrinda Justus from Trainer for Child Schools. I'm taking you through this lesson of social studies. Today we are looking at the mangrove forests. Mangrove forests are located in low-lying areas along the coast of Africa. Here the coast of Africa I mean the coast of West Africa and the coast of East Africa. Mangrove swamps or mangrove forests grow well in salty waters. Grow well in salty waters as we shall see. Mangrove forests are also called mangrove swamps. Mangrove forests are also called mangrove swamps because they grow in seawater. Because they grow in seawater. That's why they are called mangrove swamps. We have many countries in Africa, when you check from your addresses, which experience or which have mangrove forests. Those countries lie along the coast of West Africa and also along the coast of East Africa. For example, in East Africa countries which share the coast, we have Kenya and Tanzania. These two countries have mangrove forests because they lie along the coast and at the same time, the coastal parts of East Africa have what we call salt water. Mangrove swamps can't do well in an area which, which doesn't have salt water. Another country we have Mozambique. Mozambique lies along the coast. When you go to Tanzania, it, it lies in the southern part of Tanzania. It is separated by River Mozambique. Check from your analysis, please. It is separated by River Mozambique. It is, sorry, sorry, my dear candidates. It is separated by River Vuma. It is separated by River Vuma from Tanzania. So this country, Mozambique, also experiences or ha has mangrove forests. Another country is Cameroon. Cameroon touches the West African coast, but it is a country which lies in Central Africa. But it touches at the coast of West Africa. Another country we have Ghana. Another country we have Ghana. Ghana is an is Ghana lies in West Africa along the coast. Ghana lies in West Africa along the coast and that coastal part. Those coastal parts have what we call salt water. Another country we have Gabon. We have Gabon. Also Gabon has mangrove forests. When you check from your addresses, when you check from your addresses, you are going to find other countries like Nigeria, Nigeria. Also, you are going to find another country like, like Ivory Coast. Also, Ivory Coast in West Africa has mangrove forests. Therefore, there are only two countries in East Africa which have mangrove forests. Those countries are Kenya and Tanzania. Countries of West Africa, we have Ghana, Nigeria, and Ivory Coast. Those three countries have mangrove forests. Mangrove forests have good features or characteristics, and we have them here. We have them here. One, mangrove forests have hadu. Mangrove forests have hadu. Why? They take long to mature. That is the reason why mangrove forests have got hardwood. They take long to mature. In so doing, they become hard. And when you cut them down, you find that they are hard, and also they are hard to use. But at the same time, mangrove forests provide hardwood which are durable. Items furniture got from Hardwood obtained from mangrove swamps are durable, are long lasting. Mangrove swamps are evergreen. Mangrove swamps are evergreen. Why? The coastal parts of Africa, West Africa and East Africa, those coastal areas receive heavy rainfall throughout the year. 
receive heavy rainfall throughout the year, throughout the year. that's why they are evergreen they are evergreen their candidates mangrove swamps grow in areas with salty water as i have told you right from the start of this lesson that only areas with salty water have got mangrove swamps that's why mangrove swamps are not common in other parts of africa are not common in other parts of africa because other parts of africa besides the coastal parts of west africa and those of east africa lack salty water you can't find them in areas without salty water again mangrove forests have got buttress roots mangrove forests have buttress roots they have buttress roots to give them support to give them support in such areas which are sorted along the coast of west africa and those of East Africa. So, buttress roots help trees stand firm in salty water. Buttress, buttress roots help trees to stand firm in salty water. Then, we have another feature of mangrove forests, which is special from other vegetation zones. Which is special from other vegetation zones. My dear candidates, note this. Those with notebooks, they have waterproof timber. They have waterproof timber. Waterproof timber are resistant, are resistant to water. So when you make boats or ship from waterproof timber or from timber got from mangrove forests, they can't get destroyed by water. So they are resistant to water. They are resistant to water. That's why they are called waterproof. I'm the one who is going to set you a question or to bring you a question today. Ways mangrove forests support fishing industry? The answer is mangrove forests provide waterproof timber for making ships. We mark that. The only answer which is very correct, mangrove forests provide timber for making ships. We are going to the values or importance of mangrove forests. They are very important. They are very important. We need them in East Africa, in Africa, in West Africa, and other parts of Africa. One, they provide hardwood. They provide hardwood. They provide hardwood. I told you earlier that hardwood helps us to make furniture and other items which are durable, which are durable, which take, which take long. And another reason why they are called hardwood, they take long to mature. Not that. They take long to mature. Another value, they protect low-lying coast from sea erosion. They protect low-lying coast from sea erosion. How? You may ask, teacher, how? Teacher, how? By trapping mud. By trapping mud. They protect low-lying coast from sea erosion. How? By trapping mud. So my dear candidates, right from here, continue making research, continue revising, continue reading hard about mangrove forests. About mangrove forests. This marks the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, I will tell you the next. I remain Tichana Trindajastas, social studies teacher from Train Up a Child Schools. Thank you. My dear candidates.